for some reason, it took people six months to realize that the Alicization arc was coming. I mean, the Ordinal Scale movie had been out since February, and the teaser that everyone is now getting all hyped about had been on YouTube since March. So I don't know why it's suddenly getting all this coverage, but I guess now is as good a time as any to go a bit more in depth into the teaser that we saw. So get ready to hear a bit about Wrath and some top-down and bottom-up AI. But before I get into that, let's first talk about what we actually see in the teaser. It starts with a very brief exchange between Kikoka and Shigemura. But during this exchange, Kikuoka mentions several names and the concept of top-down AI. So by default, the first thing you'd want to know is who are these people and what do they all have in common? Well, if you didn't know already, Kikuoka is a ranking officer part of the JSDF who claims to work for the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, the Virtual Reality World Division. He was the one that investigated the SAO incident when it happened. So it's pretty clear from this teaser that he has greater plans for VR worlds, and he wants to use the research of people like Nobuyuki and Akihiko to implement those plans. And as you may recall, Akihiko and Nobuyuki were the antagonist in their respective arcs. If one wasn't a crazy psychopath and the other a creepy pedophile, then I'm sure Wrath would have been able to complete its plans long ago. But where's the fun if we just skip straight to the Alcization arc? I mean, we could have done without the fairy dance arc, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, since it's their research that we're interested in, it's helpful to know that Kaiba Akihiko took the first steps toward this VR world by designing the nerve gear which enabled the full dive link into virtual reality, as well as the cardinal system which has the most advanced instance of top-down AI which was Yuyi. Then Nobuyuki created a new generation of this device by creating the Amnisphere headset through research at the Rekt Institute. But the reason his name was mentioned wasn't for his research or anything like that, but rather to introduce the college student that had already been working with Kikuoka. His name was Higa Takeru. And although you wouldn't know this at first, all three of them, Nobuyuki, Akihiko, and Takeru, are connected through the character that the movie introduced, which was Shigemura. Shigemura was the one that created the augmented reality devices that we see in ordinal scale. And he had also attempted to completely recreate his daughter through his AR devices. What connects everyone though is the fact that they all work together at the Toto University of Electrical and Electronic Engineering in Shigemura's lab. Although they all split up to do their own projects relating to VR, some more crazy than others, Takeru remained as the last student to keep doing research, and it's clear from the teaser that he's going to be working with Shigemura once again in Wrath. So Kikuoka then goes on to mention top-down AI, which is a less advanced version of bottom-up AI. Considering that all of us aren't software engineering undergrads, I'll try to make this as easy to understand as possible. With respect to SAO, all of the AI that we see is top-down and in the form of NPCs. The simplest way I can put this is that a top-down AI is built with a pre-made model in mind that limits the way that it can respond to certain situations. It's basically giving an NPC an extensive script of what it can say when confronted with a question. The most advanced version, as I said before, is Yui which although she seems like she's able to perfectly mimic human behavior, she's just an AI with a very large database that makes her script of available responses much larger than the normal NPCs. I'm sorry to burst your bubble if you like her a lot, she actually has no real intelligence. She's just simulating being able to understand her surroundings by using that database to find the optimal response to a situation. The bottom-up AI on the other hand can simulate its understanding the exact same way that a human does, Therefore, it does carry intelligence. An NPC that runs on bottom-up AI will create its own answer when presented with a question. It will go through the entire thought process that is involved with making a decision and determine its own answer to that question. And that brings us to the purpose of Wrath. So Wrath is the company created by the JSDF in order to produce the world's first bottom-up AI. The first machine to be able to make decisions on its own and simulate the thought process like a functioning brain. I won't say too much more because that might delve a little bit too deep into spoiler territory, but I do want to point out what's in the background on the screen. That view is of the Underworld, which is the VR world that Wrath is experimenting with in order to create the bottom-up AI. And that tall building in the background, that's the central cathedral of the Axiom Church. It's going to be the 100th floor building of mysteries for the whole Alicization arc. So I look forward to learning more about this Underworld and this Axiom Church. My friend tells me it's where God lives or something like that, so that sounds pretty exciting. Anyway, I just thought I'd share a little bit of insight on the upcoming Alicization arc. When I watched this, I was a little bit confused and knew that some of you may have been as well, so I figured I'd do what I do best and give you some useful information. 
I'm hoping that we get a new season for this arc because I don't really think that they can fit the whole series into a couple of movies and OVAs. Apparently it's really long. Guess we just gotta wait and see. So as always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this type of anime content, then you already know what to do. So until next time, ciao!